Okay, in this video, we're going to quickly go over the Comparing Decimal Place Value module in Khan Academy. I think it connects very nicely to many concepts we cover with scientific notation in 8th grade uh, mathematics. So here, we're going to go over these three examples together in a moment, but really briefly, I want to just kind of sum up what's happening in all of these modules, right? I think we can make a lot of sense about um, the place value explored in this module by looking at one type of example. Let's take the number 4. If I write 4, I have 4 1s. But then if I write 40, if I move that 4 once to the left, what have I done? I've made a number that's 10 times larger. And if I do it again, I made it another 10 times larger. It's 400. 10 times larger than 40, and 100 times larger than 4. If I move it a final time, I get 4,000. That's 10 times larger than 400, 100 times larger than 40, and 1,000 times larger than 4. So as I move up in this way, the numbers, what's happening, I'm multiplying by 10 every for every time I shift my 4 once to the left. Right? It's increasing the value. And if I reverse that process, right? So here, right, this is um, multiplying by 10. And with each place value change, multiplying by 10, as we move 4 to the left. Or I should say, each time we move 4 to the left. So multiplying, we're multiplying by 10 each time we move 4 to the left. okay, And what happens as I move 4 to the right? Well, the opposite happens. right? If I start with this 4, 4,000, and move my 4 once to the left, I get 400, which is 10 times smaller. And then another 10 times smaller to 40, and 10 times smaller to 4. So here I could say I divide by 10 each time we move 4 to the right. And this is this is all based on our place value system. Right? Think of the way these numbers are named. This is 4 1s, 4 10s, 10 times larger than 4 1s, 4 hundredths, and 4 thousandths. And this continues as we look at our decimals. Right? Instead of 4, if I wrote point, I'll write it over here now, 04. I'm going to shift over. Here, I took 4, and I, sorry, should get 0.4, or 0 0.4. I took 4 and I moved it once to the right, the place value. That's dividing it by 10, right? And then as I do it again, I get 0.04, I divide by 10 again, and 0.004, and divide by 10 another time. So this is still true. So in all these examples, Think about how we're moving, or how many place values we're moving. So, here, the value of 4 in the number 683,400, so there's the 4 in the hundredths place, and 72 is how many times the value of the 4 in 2,730,145. Well, the 4 here is only in the tens place, right? So this is 4 tens. Here it's in the four hundredths place. In other words, it moved once to the left. Right? If you think about the way this is structured, we have 2730145, and here we have 683472. So our 4 is here, and it moves once to the left. It's 10 times larger. The value of the 7 in the number 37.275 is how many times the value of the 7 in 8.275. So I would just write these out. Because you can see now, oh, well, our, our 7's here. And then it's one, two places to the left. That's 100 times larger. And here we get the reverse kind of question. 592.17 is, now it doesn't say times, because here's a fraction, right? Is what fraction of the value in the 7 for 1 million, 107, uh, 1,000, excuse me, 174.17? Eight, three, nine. 
So we're looking at the 7 here, right? So the 7 is here in the tenths place, the tens place, and here it's in the hundredths place. So, so how many times smaller is that? Well, it's 1, 2, 3 place values to the right. That means divided by 10 three times. So it's the same as 1 over 1,000. Right, divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. And in the Khan Academy module, I would just enter a slash to get that. All right, well, I hope this helped. Thanks.